Darlene and Noah were childhood sweethearts, and after reconnecting on social media, Darlene ended a 25-year marriage just to be with Noah again. They got married and everything should have been great, but that's when the cheating accusations began. Now Noah thinks that Darlene is cheating with different men. And Darlene wonders if Noah has been having sex with his ex behind her back. Uh, Darlene, you were married when you met Noah. Yes. Um, and, and you ended your marriage to be with him? Yes. And, and what, what happened there? Well, it goes back, Noah and I was, I met Noah when I was 13 years old. So this goes way back. Like three years ago, my daughter was battling cancer and Noah reconnected with me on social media. I ended up seeing him like a year later and when I gave him a hug that day, everything, all the feelings just came back from when I was a kid and all the love feelings I had from him. Did you date him. as children? We did, yeah. yes. I ended up ending a long-term marriage to be, with, to be with Noah. Yeah. And in the process of all of this, my daughter passed away last year. I'm sorry. Yeah. From cancer. So, when, when I'm being accused of, of like doing something, like being like with other people, it's mind boggling because I was with the same person for almost 30 years. I just wanted to prove to him that I've been faithful to end all the accusations so that we don't like end up breaking apart because of this. I'm trying to mourn my little girl, you know? And I don't want to go through the depression of being accused at the same yeah. time. And before the accusations started, how was the relationship between the two of you? We have a good relationship other than the accusations. Right. And I think it's because he has trust issues because of the lifestyle he lived. He was with different type of women than me. So what kind? Vulnerable women that jump around, not faithful. Like, okay. So I'm, he's, I think that's what it is, is that he doesn't think a woman could be a good girl and just you know, stay with one person. Did you, did you think about Noah during the years that you were married? I thought about him time in and time out because yeah. people would mention his name, that he's still in love with me, and I'm like, after all these years? But he tells me he never stopped loving me. Was it, was it hard to end your marriage? Yes, it was, because yeah. I was tearing apart my family. Yeah. And I did all of this to be with him. And look, so and your now family didn't like it, right? Not in the beginning, no. Yeah. And how soon after you got married did he start to think that you were cheating? It was like right away, I would say. Yeah. Really? Yeah, like right away. Do you have a lot of male friends? Yeah, I do have male friends. I've and, always had male friends. And does he think that you're sleeping with him? Well, he's asked me if there's anything, and I, no, I have never. Yeah. Now, Noah's ex claims that she slept with him recently. She, yeah, she, she's been at, since him and I got together, she's been making all these, like, assumptions of things with him and her. So, I don't assumptions know. Assumptions or making statements? She's making statements, right. saying and that they're- To you, or? She said them to me, yes. Th like, she is around you? No, she'll reach out to him on Facebook or, okay. yeah, or send messages through people or, you know. And what does Noah say about this? He denies it. Yeah. Is this woman just jealous that you two are together? Or? I think that's definitely what it is because yeah. she wanted him back. Yeah. Now, Noah was supposed to take a lie detector test. What happened? Um, well, he was getting upset because they was asking past questions. He wanted to just deal with our relationship. He didn't want to go into the past. Yeah. Uh, but a lot of times we just ask preliminary questions. He, he didn't understand that, that yeah. part of it. Okay, but you took a lot of time. I took one, yes. And you're here to prove that you've been faithful. Yes. Let's meet your husband, Noah. He doesn't. He won't come out. He left. I mean, left in. the studio? He broke the studio in the back. He's not in the studio. He's not even in the building. Yeah, he's in the building. Oh. He went to the wing. Can you relate to this story? Need my help? Call 1-888-STEVE-07. No one? You mind if I come in, no? Yeah. How you doing? Yes. Steve. Uh, really? I got your wife here. Yeah. Is that OK? That's no problem, yeah. You want to come in? This is how y'all do me? Excuse me, Steve, but I would like 
I don't feel comfortable being around like crowds and stuff and cameras and stuff like that. Oh, well, how about just two like, cameras? People know my business. Like, well, you're on her a TV show. Come you know, here, right. I'm just and that's why I'm here. I'm okay. Just to well, know. let's say this. Um, you know, your wife tells like a really. She's been through a lot, right? Exactly. Look. Um, you two dated when you were kids. Yep. Uh, and I, I didn't ask. How long did you guys date when you were children? Um, a couple months. I just came from New York in '87. I met her as soon as I met her through a cousin. I asked to a cousin, um, Yo, who's that? She was like, Well, that's my cousin. Stay away from no. Stay away from her. No, she's not. Like she's a good girl. She don't. She's not like the girl you used to dealing with. She's a good girl. Stay away from her. She don't be. And how old were you at the time? I was like 15, 16. She said, so you were a couple 13, years old, 14, yeah. yeah. I go to her house all the time. We go to movies, go to the fair, eat ice cream. It was peace. Like I was like, I, I left that lifestyle alone for a minute because I, I had open cases when I got with her. I had open you got cases. in some trouble when you so were young guys. Before I got with her. Yeah. But then when I got back with her, I was staying out of trouble. But then I had legal issues going on and I went away for a while. Right. So when I went away for a while, me and her parted ways. Yeah. And then she goes on and... Uh, she was in a long time marriage, had kids. Yes. But when you reconnect, when her daughter is battling cancer, yes. uh, she feels a connection with you again. Yes. And you knew, like, kind of her, who she is, that she's not the kind of girl that runs around. When soon after you get married, she says you start having doubts whether she's faithful to you. I have doubts. Yeah. That's suspicious about because she she knows people that I know and people they, they don't have. They got malice in their mind. They're not gonna be, cause she's naive. Like you can talk to her, be friends with her, whatever, and she don't think nothing of it. But really, them dudes is up to no good. They try. But no matter like, what they're up to, do you think that she would be up to no good? You know what I mean? I trust her too, certain so but she's the one that keeps saying to me, "I'm gonna prove to you, I'm not like one of your baby mamas, other girls you used to dealing with. I'm gonna go to Steve show and prove it to you." It's been going on for a while. Do you think that she's been unfaithful to you? Well, she don't look at the type that be unfaithful. And, like, but, but, but you never know by looks. Yeah. I'm asking you, this is your she, wife. She grew up with values and morals, like her family, good people. Like, yeah. you, people, good she people, ever tell you, like, when, when you two reconnect after all those years apart, after she comes out of this 25 year marriage, she ever tell you, yeah, I used to cheat on my husband? No, not one time. But the thing is that. So why would you do that? There was some people call her middle of the night, and she's like, oh, they probably butt dialed me. So I start questioning that. And she seems like she's really in love yeah. with you. I, do. I love her too. Yeah. Like since I've been with her, I've been on the on the right path. You have an ex that comes uh, contacts the both of you or one of you and says, "I just slept with him." Is that correct? I can't say her name, but yes. give me a hard time. And I said, "You block her. Leave her. No, no. If I see her, I run the opposite way." You're not sleeping yes. with her. No, 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 no. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm my brother Charlie that passed away. I'm not sleeping with her. And since I've been with her, I've been faithful to her. But she wants to prove this lie detector, but I believe her. And if if, if she lied, it'd be like, oh. What if she would have fell? If she would have fell, I'd be like, wow. Like, I know I've said it, but I never believed that it was true. But I don't think she's going to fail. Yeah. But if she does, I don't think so either. disappointed. But I don't because think I'll, I'll say this. I don't, you know, and I'm, you know, not a doctor or a psychologist yeah. or anything like that. But I can't imagine a woman that, you know, the strain of ending a 25 year marriage, mm -hmm. losing a child, I don't know how that would make you want to go out and sleep with anybody. Exactly. No, I did not know. Probably shut her down, right? That's it's like losing a child. Mm -hmm. Can't imagine there's a lot of things in life that gives you joy after that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Losing my daughter was the worst pain. Bad. I was there to support through it and everything. Uh, the worst. I don't think yeah. anybody doubts you on that for mm -hmm. one second. So she came here, took a lie to talk to us. You didn't want to take one. I wanted to take one, but they was asking me questions that had nothing to do with the... Yeah, but you know, that's more of a formality yeah, than anything. We're not trying to trick you I thought it was the type of trick questions. What was no, going well, on? I mean, yep. first of all, we're not trying to trick anybody. Mm -hmm. I don't know you. Why would I want to trick you? By any chance you take one now? I can take one right now. And also prove that I wasn't with that, with, um, with Venusa. Where's Michelle at? Um, you said I'd take one right now. Of, of, with those questions. Do you, yeah. want, do you want him to take one? Yeah, he can do one. Okay, she wants him to take it. For whatever reason, he's not gonna take this lot of time test, okay? I feel bad for you because you've been through a lot and I wish I could give you all the answers. Um, one of the things that is causing a problem in your marriage is that he thinks that maybe you haven't been faithful, which I find kind of hard to believe that you're even down on her. I didn't believe her. So everything that she's been through, but 
are you okay with reading your results? Yes. Okay. All right, Darlene, you came here and you took a lie detector test. And we asked you, since being in a relationship with Noah, have you had sexual intercourse with any other man? You answered no. Since being in a relationship with Noah, have you had sexual activity with any other man? You answered no. The results came back the same to both questions, and it came back that Darlene told the truth. You gotta stop. You gotta stop. I, I knew that. My She's. I want him on Lexi now. Please. You have that. Can you, can you yeah, trust your wife? Of course, I always did. I would just, just... I'm a good woman, Steve. I wasn't raised like that. I believe you I are. You that. I just met you. And it, you know, my gut's tell me you are a good woman, that you wouldn't do that. You know, she gave up a lot. And she's lost a lot, a lot, a lot. To, to be with you. I hope that you treat your wife the way she deserves to be treated, yeah. okay? Wish you all luck. Nice meeting you. Yeah. Very nice meeting Good luck to you guys. Thank you.